Hey guys, Ace of Narcissus here, and today we are taking a look at all of the ninja vehicles together all in one place, except for the Destiny's Bounty, not because we do not have the Destiny's Bounty, which we do have that, but because we don't really think it necessarily qualifies here, since Sensei Wu really isn't part of the team. He, he is in the sense that he is a master, but he's not really a ninja and he didn't have the same role that these vehicles did in the movie or really the prominence. But taking a look at the vehicles all assembled here as a team, you can tell that they are just absolutely huge and they are also really, really good, which is of course the standard of the Ninjago movie sets. They're just all really great. But with all of them together, there is a sense of unity here, but at the same time, there's not. It's very weird because it's a thing where you can tell they're supposed to be a team, but if you took someone with little to no context of this and just took all the ninja out, there aren't a lot of unifying factors other than, you know, their, their Lego sets, but there isn't really much that kind of unifies these, aside from the flags being on most of the sets, but not the Lightning Jet or the Green Ninja Mech Dragon. There's not, you know, that kind of sense of unity, but at the same time, there also is. It's very weird, but it's also kind of cool. And a lot of that is because each set is very unique. I mean, literally, out of this line, we have two mechs, one of which is completely crazy. It's the, it's literally the Quake mech is just on one wheel. It's completely different from the Fire mech, but it is a mech. You have the Water Strider, which is some four-legged crazy mech, which is something extremely unique compared to the normal types of LEGO sets. The Ice Tank, which is pretty much unprecedented because LEGO doesn't usually go in the direction of tanks because it's kind of a military thing and LEGO doesn't want to usually go in that kind of direction. So this is just unique by virtue of the whole concept. The Green Ninja Mech Dragon is a fresh take on the dragon concept with it being a mechanical dragon, but also kind of organic. It's a very good blend of both of them. And the Lightning Jet is just completely weird. It's, it's a very unique vehicle that some will like and some will kind of like the Ice Tank. And yeah, that is pretty much it. It's a very solid lineup of sets. Very happy to have all of these together. They're very nice together, but they are kind of big, so you know, they take up a lot of space. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, see you guys later.